like, bro. Is he, is he got a kid. Look at his back. Oh my god. <laughs> Today, if you're reacting to this video, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> my orca is the most disrespectful animal on the planet. My hood, <laughs> my guy, Hood Nature or Casual Geographic. Yeah, man. This dude's hilarious, bro. Posting that funny content, man. Like reacting to your videos. Get us some good views, and you get some very interesting, informative information about different animals that. I don't necessarily always think about. What do you know about orcas? I know orcas are very smart, very intelligent. Uh, they almost have no predators outside of like maybe sharks sometimes will hunt them, but usually they're, they're the ones hunting sharks. Remember when I found that out, I was kind of sick because I like sharks a lot. I'm like, orcas kill sharks out here? I'm like, damn, I have to give orcas some respect now because they, <laughs> they were dirt. Hey, they can definitely inflict some damage. They be up along, they be all over the world, really. I think so. So they're pretty smart. They think that uh, dolphins and like different whales are kind of like the humans of the sea. So this is how intelligent they are. But yeah, you know. Let us know if you want to see more uh, hood nature down in the comments. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share as well. It's a road to 10k subscribers. Really appreciate all that support. We're gonna hop right into this video. Been trying to tell y'all, killer whales are just waterproof black Air Force defense. Their entire personality is <laughs> bullying every name on the ocean census for no reason at all. Let me explain why this video is way worse than you actually think. It's actually well known that orcas will tail slap their prey. It's the fastest way to make a seal join the Air Force. This video was filmed in Mexico, and there were actually six of these hood dolphins taking turns slapping the stingray. And after getting bodied the first time, the stingray was too weak to get away, so the orcas just kept violating it. And this went on for an hour and a half. Scientists mm. watching this thought the orcas would just eat the stingray afterwards. Instead, when the stingray finally became past tense, all six orcas just watched it lifelessly sink to the bottom of the ocean. This wasn't about food or survival. Nah, these homicidal Oreos spent 90 minutes jumping a stingray because they thought it was fun. Orcas don't operate on survival. They live off malicious intent. They're one of the few animals that will go out of their way to torture and murk other animals for fun. They'll literally spend hours violating seals, penguins, and stingers and not even eat oh them in the end. And that's God. another ballpark of disrespect. One scientist watched an orca chase a penguin for half an hour, snap its neck, and then leave its soul divorced body floating on the surface. Oral of this video, sharks don't run the ocean. The steroids yeah, even gummy them. The only reason they don't go after people is because they see themselves in Y'all starting to put way too much faith in me. This fight get on here and say that's a graboid or an Alaskan bullworm and end the video, what y'all gonna do? Nah, that's a lungfish. It's a fish with lungs. Also, I think that video was filmed in Uganda, which checks out because the lungfish is found in Africa, South America, and Australia. When there's a drought or they run out of water, this air guppy will bury itself in the mud and then cover itself in a coat of mucus. When the snot sweater dries, it basically acts as a protective coffin. And like most people in coffins, a lungfish basically dies by shutting down almost every system in their body. The mummyfish will sit there until it rains again and then it'll shake itself out as nothing ever happened. And some, like the African lungfish, can take a break from living for three to five years without food or water. All it needs to wake up from is suspended animation is water, apparently an excavator. So what did we learn today? This fish can breathe air and water and put its own life on pause for up to five years. Meanwhile, us humans got back pain and anxiety because evolution's a... What is that? I don't know what that is. That's the end of the video. I don't know if y'all think I just know everything about everything, but I promise you I don't. But if I had to guess, it's probably a CNM. This thing. Even though they look like plants, this thing whose name I refuse to pronounce yeah, is actually an animal. Water, As part of the Nidaria phylum, they're also related to jellyfish. And some of them like to remind the world that they're not plants by moving just like this. So what I'm guessing happened here is the water receded and exposed the sea anemone at the bottom. And as an animal, them shrinking away is probably just a defensive reaction to being touched. And here you can see a green sea anemone doing the exact same thing, oh, curling up to protect themselves from what they think. Why are you touching that? Well, I, stick his, uh, I think I'm on a list now. Finger, right? I'd be completely Weird wrong, but that's my best <laughs> guess. Well, I just watched Hank read the parents yeah, upside down. Jim. This actually makes more sense. If you value your mental health, do not watch oh. this video. This is the only warning you're gonna get. Meet your new nightmare, the coconut oh. friend. Same Photoshop. This is real life. They're related to hermit crabs, but everything about Think it. Think if I can I've seen that bit. Like Can you years. imagine Rylan on one of those? If it got bigger? I think that's the, uh, I think that's the one he said where it's like, if it smells blood, it'll come for you. Yeah, like, I remember he said something about there was like an island. What, so they attack you? Yeah, if they smell blood. They're, they're the crabs that climb up. They can crack fucking coconuts with their, uh, like, this 
cooking this. That's what you're doing. <laughs> you know how hard it is. You gotta get you know, your hand. Are you gonna try to? Are you gonna try to like fight it, or are you gonna run? No, imagine being on a. He, he even said it. There's like an island where it's, it's just nothing but those things. Imagine having a cut on that motherfucker. And you just imagine stuck. like washing up on shore. You got like a big ass gash. You can't run. You gonna run to the sea so a shark can get you? Man, a shark's running that buzz over. <laughs> You can't climb a tree either, because they can climb. Imagine climb up a tree. Bro, look at that. That's ridiculous. But imagine climb a tree, see thousands of them things climbing. Like, oh my God, God, please, just kill me now. Literally strike me now. But think about it. If you, I mean, if you kill all of them, you got all, all the credit you need. Or you can't kill them. They got armor. What are you going to use to kill them? Like, There's thousands of them running up on you? Coconuts. Try to bash them with the coconuts. <laughs> I'll grab two ass coconuts. What you can do is you put your head against a rock and you can take the coconut and repeatedly smash your head in until you're dead. No, no. That's a better idea. Yeah, this video. Man, you're, you're human. You, be, you should be able to, like, plan out a smart tactical plan to you're take gonna, out these you're, animals. You're going to die. You're going to die. You versus nature. That's the, that, that's the thing with people. We always think that we can outsmart nature. It's just, no. You don't get out there. And you're not going to be able to think tactically when you see thousands of the same crab crawling towards you with, it's just, it's just it's snapping. It flusters you, your adrenaline's going to be up, you're just, all these chemical reactions going on in your body. You're probably going to pass out. Yeah, you probably pass out, really. It's probably what you're going to do. To tip and weigh nine pounds. Now the biggest problem with this Hell's Bomber Claws is they believe in the worst type of equality, meaning they eat everything without prejudice. Though crabs will eat fleshy fruits, nuts, and seeds, but they'll also eat the carcasses of dead animals like cats and chickens. In fact, a group of these crabs made an entire pig's corpse disappear in only a week. And since nature is a spiteful person, not only can they climb trees, they've been known to scale tree branches and murk sleeping birds in their nest. And those claws can break birds' bones, since they pinch with about 740 pounds. Oh my birds. god! <laughs> <laughs> this, is like the <laughs> this crab pinches harder than lions bite. Whoever thought that was a good idea was on disrespectful timing. So because of their diet, a lot of them are poisonous. These crabs are found on islands across the Indian and part of the Pacific Ocean. This last fact might be the worst one. So when Amelia Earhart crashed, a lot of people believe the reason her body was never found was because a group of these crabs turned her corpse into a cookout. And considering these crabs are scavengers that will eat literally anything dead, it's a possibility. What is that? The whole page is really just turning into What's That Pokemon, where I'm just a breeding Pokédex. And I'm okay with that. This little guy is a pygmy marmoset. It's a type of New World monkey found in the Amazon. And at three and a half ounces, this thumb monkey oh, weighs man. about as much as three Skittles. They're one of the smallest primates in the world, and in a jungle full of ops, they stay alive by going Monkey everywhere words. as a group and by hiding up in the trees. But never up in the canopy, that's a good way to become a harpy eagle's happy When a baby marmoset's <laughs> <that's> born, <laughs> different family members will take turns watching, including two of the siblings. Babysitting their little brother or sister is actually how the older ones learn how to be parents. They normally get alone, but when threatened, their first instinct is to proudly display their genitals and let the intruder make the next move. You wouldn't want smoke with a crazy naked dude, and that's probably why it works. Also, these aren't big grapes, that's literally how small they are. Like, they're so small, they act as insects to insects, and of course, the insects don't even see them as a threat. And because I know there's going to be that one person, technically, you can't have wow. insects, but they're high-maintenance, fighting, screaming anuses that die if you look at them the wrong way. Marmosets are good pets if you know what you're doing, but for the most part, they're like celebrities. They're a lot more fun to be around when they're behind a screen. Here are some things you can do in Australia that you simply can't do anywhere else. Number one, you can a spider. This is a yellow brush tail possum. They're one of the most widespread marsupials in Australia. So widespread that sometimes they break into people's homes. And getting Kool-Aid man by a living Pokemon is definitely something you need in your life. I look like Pikachu. The blue penguin is the smallest of its kind. If you're on Phillip Island at the right time, you can watch hordes of them emerge from the sea and waddle single file like children towards their nesting sites. Like you can actually sit and watch them waddle past you. And if you can sit here and tell me this doesn't make you smile, either you sold your soul or you just weren't born with one to begin with. Number three, you can meet a patamelon. It's basically yeah. the kangaroo's smaller, less clouded cousin. And like roos and wallabies, they get to where they gotta go by hopping. They're just really cute about it. Number four, you can witness Aurora Australis, aka the Southern Lights. It's the result of a disturbance in the magnetosphere caused by solar wind, which causes particles to release color as they become ionized. What? In simple terms, it's nature on LSD. And number five, of <laughs> course, you can meet the world's happiest animal. Technically found off the coast of Australia on islands like Rottnest, but it still counts. They smile to cool off, and they've lost their fear of humans, which is why this exists. What do we trust? Here's some animals that Maggie's have a worse mom. birthday than you. Rats. <laughs> That's wild. That's wild. In any way, she'll turn her children into kids' meals. If she's afraid of this predator, she'll eat her babies to protect them from predators. <laughs> that she'll eat the babies to, to protect them. them from predators. Literally, just pop a balloon around a rabbit and watch how fast she becomes a carrot fueled Casey. Tasmanian devils are born into the hunting Rabbits games. Because even though there can be up to 50 babies called joeys, the mother only has four Tasmanian babies. Devils. So the blind babies the size of a grain of rice have to crawl around to find them. The first four get to live, the rest either starve or get eaten by the mother. Giraffes, and for the simple fact that they get dropped on their head, they're lucky that? if that's all that happens. Because if the mother gets tired and sits down before the baby's out completely, she could accidentally crush it. 
If they survive all that, it takes Ooh. them about an hour to learn how to walk. And every minute that baby's on the ground is a minute they're closer to getting pushed to sleep by lions, down. hyenas, or wild dogs. The mother will use her dinner plate sized feet to kick at predators, but there's also the chance she accidentally kicks her baby and breaks its neck. Last is the barnacle goose, because they have two choices. They can jump off a 400 foot cliff or starve. Basically death or death in slow motion, and half the chicks that jump become past death by the end of the day. This is one of the smartest animals in the world, and it's also one of the biggest menaces to society. The kia is a large parrot found in the mountainish areas of New Zealand. The kia is smart enough to solve complex puzzles in order to get the food inside. But because they've gotten used to humans, this bird will literally take cars apart with their beak. Every year in New Zealand, this parrot causes thousands of dollars in damage by destroying cars, yeah. and they do it yeah, just because they feel like it. Oh, this fellow tweet will also open and search through backpacks and purses, steal whatever they can find, and then dare you to do something about it. If this parrot steals your wallet and flies Punched off, that's it. very much a you problem. And they're not just an op to people. The Kia will use that razor sharp beak to hole punch sheep just so they can eat that's the fats nice. in the back yeah. of the animal. Nobody really knows who taught apart. the birds to act like this, but it used to happen so often that the farmers started putting the birds on shirts in order to protect their sheep. Oh, Since the key is now protected by law, they get to act up with no best. consequences. They'll also steal eggs from shearwater nests and turn an entire nursery into an omelet because not even other birds are safe from the audacity. Oral of this video, this bird is proof that the smarter you are, the more of a phallus you are to everyone's way of life. Yeah, yeah man. this is why I don't, I don't, I don't mess with like animals, nature, none of that, because. Some of it's just like unnecessary. Hey, be like that, but eventually that's what we're gonna be going back to. If you keep you keep it up, keep worrying about, worrying about money, then about the environment. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's why I'm I'm trying to learn how to actually live in the in the woods and shit. You know how to know what plants to eat and stuff. Because when that day comes, it may not come. It may come, but you're gonna be sick. When you're walking through, mo, you can't you can't go to Walmart and niggas over there killing each other and shit. You know how niggas already get crazy. You better know how to. I mean, it, it can be a fun thing too, but just being able to go out and be able to know which food, which plants you can eat. Cause it's literally something like you can eat dandelions, like the roots of dandelions and shit. I didn't know that. I could be starving. There's a dandelion right there. I could eat it. It's good to know these things, you know. But hey, uh, hood nature. You always get the good videos, man. Hilarious. Mm -hmm. Keep it up. Make sure you subscribe to him. Make sure you subscribe to us. It's the road to 10k subscribers. Really appreciate all the support. We're gonna hop. We'll see you next time. Peace. Peace. Peace.